early stage. But Evo's Legends are going to be responding with the Matilda last pick here. So giving them a little bit of more mobility. And that might just be what they need. I love the Matilda pick here coming out of Evo's SG. There's a lot of sticky heroes on the side of Smart Omega. Guiding Wind's gonna be a very easy escape plan. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready and make sure you guys have your snacks in your seats because you're not gonna want to go anywhere. We're about to enter match number one of the day. It's going to be Smart Omega going up against Evo's SG. Ladies and gentlemen, one final look at the drafts here as we go into game number one. For those of you watching at home, grab your popcorn. For those of you here at MyTech with us, cheer for your respective teams and give them the support they need. Here we go in the Land of Dawn. Welcome Here we go into the Land Legends. of Dawn. And need we remind you, this is going to be a best of five. And whoever can carry it on in the series is going to keep prevailing in the tournament. But whoever doesn't will fall. And now we can see here on screen, it is going to be the Akai in that jungle position onto gear. Yep. Certainly a little bit unusual for Evo's SG, but a very solid pick overall. Going to be able to scale up very quickly, hit that level 4, which is what Evo's SG desperately needs in order to make sure they keep Omega at bay. In the early game, all of these tankier heroes on the side of Omega are definitely going to have the advantage, not to mention the Natalia being played by Chak Noon. Yeah, yeah, and if we know the Natalia to I mean, used on their side, they're definitely going for the back line. They know that Adamir and Sela are their key conditions to win this game and definitely going to look to shut that down. You can already see rotating downwards potentially to help out there. There has to be a little bit more emphasis, but wait a minute, E2 Max here gets a little chunk. They're still trading blows here in that mid side. But yes, as I was saying, there needs to be a little bit more emphasis onto Kellera. I think if you let him in the just mid lane, just zone them out. Yeah, and uh, some aggression here onto Rentio, putting out the damage, but it's not enough. Ryzen still gonna take the first turtle off the game, going the way of Omega. All mistakes in that early game, that eventually cost them the game, but here we go, another pickoff. Oh, stunned out. Nick has to burn the flicker to be able to get away from this gear. Is here with the heavy spins hitting Ryzen to the wall. He takes a lot of damage from the turret as well. And will they be able to secure it? It is JPL that ends up with the first blood. Yeah, Want to pull yourself together here to make sure that he can stay alive. But now the heavy spin from here onto Kelra gonna be pushing him out of position, and now he's the one in danger from the heavy crossbow as the Aerotail picks up the kill. And Evos, they are going to have to wait on this next objective because it is going to be Omega picking up that second turtle. Yep, really good objective. Evos is actually even in terms of net worth, so it's not too big of a deal. But Sela nearly getting taken out before the Black Shoes gets popped will be able able to run away from Ryzen and E2 Max as now the rest of the team is coming in for backup gear. Gonna find Chak Nu, not able to push into the tower, but is good enough. Natalia gonna get picked off. JPL using the flicker to escape from Omega. That opportunity and went in on it. Sailor though in some trouble gets bursted down by Kelra here in the mid lane and now they get this turret completely for free. Now there it is. There okay. is so disciplined. They want to focus on these objectives and that's exactly what they're going to do. But here, Renzio some trouble here, trying to make his way out to escape E2 Max, fronting some of the damage. Nick has to flicker out, taking too much on his life, and JPL now the next target. Ryzen, he uses this opportunity to secure the turtle for themselves. Spawn, no, so that they are in better position to take it. Gear now in trouble though, heavy spin has to be used to escape. They still get it, killing spree going over to Kelra. Yeah, it's not it is. actually too bad. They just need to be able to regain momentum. Adamir gonna take the tier one tower down bottom. Gear, he's thinking about it. He wants to go for that heavy spin, but it's a bit difficult on Renzio. Both teams are squaring up to take this Lord around the Lord Pit. Yeah, just baiting it out at this moment. Evo's SG taking the position, but Chaknu though in the back line looking to see if he can make a play. Gear goes ahead to start out the fight here. Heavy spin to zone them out, but has to back away. They don't know where Chaknu is. They have to be careful, but Nick takes too much damage. And in the back line, they find Adamir. Chaknu gets a kill onto him. Sela running for his life, but Kelra manages to secure that as well. Two down on the side of Evo's SG, split up completely by Omega. That was just so so well played, so well executed by the side of Omega. They were able to bait here to be able to, you know, look for some initiative. He gets caught out, they retreat, but unfortunately their positioning was not on. But it's looking difficult as the top side, they, the Lord is marching down now. They're looking to crash down on the inhibitors. Not going to be able to take one down.
down just yet. Yeah, not just yet. Still with a 6,000, almost 7,000 gold lead. Omega, they are sitting quite comfortably, almost at 10,000 as well. It is going to be still them being shut down into their own base. But Omega, it doesn't seem they want to go for something crazy. They don't want to make a mistake at this time, understanding that it can be taken back from them as Adamir here is very easily, and E2 Max and Keldra are not going to put themselves in a very vulnerable position. Oh, they find gear in the jungle here, and he tries to make his way out. Is he going to survive? I think he does live to see. Omega, a and you can see the way that they're just manipulating the waves from all three lanes. Oh my god, but wait a minute. Renzio finds Sela as well as Adamir in the back line. They heal up just fine Somewhere now. in the middle, but that's gonna even... That, that, that's so hard for EVOS SG. BOD on a Natalia. If he catches any of them in the back line, that's basically a dead Sailor or Adamir. Yep, the Lord already taking down the top inhibitor as Renzio jumps onto Adamir in the back line. Just to zone him out, Nick is forced to defend the bottom side as Gear taking a lot of damage. Black Zhu is already expended as well. The min minion wave will be taken out, but Nick doesn't have enough wave clear speed. He will just barely preserve the bottom inhibitor. And now Evos SG wants to look for the re-engage, but Keldra, he's got a lot of damage. Heavy crossbow already popped down. Gear looking for the heavy spin, but not finding any chances to Whoa! use it. Gets that first kill secured now, and now they are looking to re-engage Omega though on the aggression. Adamir in some trouble. Man, it has to be taken down by Chaknu here. He they trade out two for one now, and Evo's SG actually coming on top of this, aggressing on Horizon. Is he going to be able to get out? Pops the shoot Unity and will be able to retreat. Oh, and what initially was, what, 8,000 gold lead, almost a 10,000 gold lead has actually shrunken to 6,000 here in the 16 minutes. And it does seem like EVO Singapore, with that win, they want to push the tempo once again. Yep. Oh, Renzio dies in with the back line on to Sailor, though. Gear with the heavy spin pins him down, manages to peel off for him now, and they safely, I think, Ooh. no, actually don't disengage Shano with the burst damage on to Sailor, secures that kill. Yeah, a little bit of over-aggression by EVO's SG after their previous victory. We do actually have to be very careful in this team. We already know that they were able to drag out the game to an insane length previously against RRQ and claim victory after that. Omega still needs to be careful, but Ryzen now going to be engaged on by four members of EVO's SG. They managed to pick him up. Renzio jumping onto Adamir and E2 Max picks up the kill on the Beatrix. Here comes Kelrath though with heavy crossbow, heavy spin, not going to matter as instant the remaining members of EVO's SG are decimated by the Irritel. Oh no, this is not good. It nearly all wiped out here for the side of Omega. And now with the space with only one member remaining, they will be able to get this board uncontested. Two, three members down. Will they be able to defend? I mean, at this rate, it doesn't seem like it. And now look at the damage output onto Gear here. He's just melted completely by Kaoru with nowhere to go. Chanu oh. comes in, and the burst is enough to take down Sailor once again. It's a complete wipeout on the side of Evo's SG. JPL is back. The only ones. Oh, oh, I don't know if they can defend this. Kaoru, the Filipino savage, he's going right for it and dishing out all the damage. Nick sacrifices his life to be able to protect. It, but at what cost? It's gonna be the core taken down by Omega, securing their first victory of this series. A clean, clean game here by the defending champions of.